Welcome back to Madman Review. The ancient Chinese used to be advanced and highly innovative. Where do you think gunpowder and pasta came from? Yes, they're from ancient China, not to mention stuff like the kite, compass, seismograph, and even the art of making ancient paper, among other things. I kid you not, do a quick Google search, the ancient Chinese contributed to a lot of civilization. Needless to say, they were uber awesome. But they lost their mojo when they became blind followers of Karl Marx sometime in the early 1900s, and they completely got rid of their sense of originality when Mao Zedong created Communist China in 1949, ending the lives of millions of good Chinese people in the process. Since then, they've been shamelessly copying stuff from the West non-stop. They copy everything. Military weapons, computer hardware, cell phone software, heck, even Japanese animation, aka anime in video games. Ever heard of Gishin Impact? Yeah, my granddaughter spends hours playing that stupid game. The sad thing is each year they make hundreds of billions of dollars off of their copies of everything, to the point that their military power now rivals ours. In this video, we'll talk about seven of the most iconic guns that the Chinese copied from other countries. If you're like us and you believe Jinping's butt resembles Winnie the Pooh's, or you just want to give this communist regime the middle finger, stick around so you know which Chinese guns to stay away from. Number 7. Norinco 1911 Norinco, founded in 1980, stands as a prominent enterprise group in China, encompassing various operations like research and development, manufacturing, marketing, and services. Norinco is in the China 500, which is their shameless copy of America's Fortune 500. As a result, these firearms became less common in the market, although remnants of their presence lingered in gun stores and pawn shops through the late 1990s and early 2000s. Throughout this video, you'll mostly hear this manufacturer's name, Norinco. That's because they're China's single most infamous firearms manufacturer, notorious for making shameless copies of some of the most iconic guns in the world. Among their replicated models are the legendary Colt 1911A1 pistols. These imitations boast sturdy forged and milled steel construction, featuring slide stop, thumb safety, grip safety, hammer half cock safety, and admittedly less desirable U-notch rear sight and blade front sight. Additionally, the grip on these copies typically adopts a curved backstrap design and utilizes either plastic or rubber materials. Some variants, such as the MP28, MP30, and MP44 models, even offer high-capacity frames and magazines. While the MP28 and MP44 come equipped with a skeleton trigger, combat hammer, and magazine holder, Typical chamberings are 9mm, 40 s and and 45 ACP. If you think these are good pistols out of the box, think again. You have to give them a thorough cleaning as they're full of Cosmoline. After shooting them a couple times, you'll quickly realize that they are some of the worst jam matics great for practicing your tap rack bang drills. And finally, they have sharp edges everywhere and badly need dehorning. Number 6. Narinko NZ-75 and NZ-85B The Narinko NZ-75 and NZ-85B are Chinese clones of the CZ-75 and CZ-85B pistols, respectively. The CZ-75 designed by the Kluki brothers at Choskabrovka in 1975 is a double-action short-recoil handgun known for its reliability, comfortable grip, well-placed controls, and accuracy. The CZ-75 was one of the pioneering Wonder 9s replacing the 38 Special Service revolvers as the primary sidearm of law enforcement worldwide. Norinco's NZ-75 closely emulates the CZ-75, offering forged steel construction, a chrome-lined barrel, and a safety catch that doubles as a decocking lever. Like its inspiration, the NZ-75 positions slide rails on the inside of the frame, contributing to enhanced accuracy and smooth operation. Norinco did not stop at copying the CZ-75. 
They also replicated the improved CZ-85B, resulting in their version, the NZ-85B, Similar to the CZ-85B, the NZ-85B incorporates a firing pin block safety, offering more user safety than the old manual safety found in firearms like the Browning High Power. The NZ-85B also features a squared-off trigger guard for improved handling, a ring hammer for easy cocking and decocking, and three-dot sights for superior aiming capabilities. As is common with many Chinese gun copies, both the NZ-75 and NZ-85B boast a heavy-duty forged steel frame and slide, enhancing their longevity and durability. But like Norinco's 1911 copies, both the NZ-75 and NZ-85B have sharp edges and are picky when it comes to ammo. Number 5 Norinco's NP-22 and NP-34 The Norinco NP-22 and MP-34 are Chinese-made clones of the SIG P-226 and P-228, respectively. Despite being priced at less than a third of the original models, their affordability comes at a cost of reduced reliability compared to the SIG models they imitate. Both the NP-34 and NP-22 are designed as DASA guns, allowing users to fire them in either single-action or double-action mode. In single-action, the hammer is cocked back, resulting in a shorter trigger pull, while in double-action, the hammer is cocked with a heavier trigger pull. The pistols feature a decocking mechanism as the primary safety, where users can manually thumb the hammer down. This simple safety setup is considered adequate for most users, After drawing the pistol, the first shots fired in double action, followed by subsequent single action shots. Regarding trigger pull, most Norinco MP22 and NP34 models have a notably heavy double action trigger, with factory fresh models averaging a 12 pound pull and a gritty 5 pound pull in single action. They also have integrated magwells, but the Chinese didn't bother to taper them, so those magwells are kind of pointless. These pistols are so rough, you have to give them to your gunsmith for tuning and dehorning before you can use them. And yeah, they're also picky with ammo. Number 4, Norinco CQ The Type CQ produced by Norinco is an unlicensed Chinese variation of the M16 rifle, officially known as CQ-556. Features distinct characteristics such as a long, revolver-like pistol grip, slightly rounded handguards and a unique stock design, setting it apart from other AR-15 and M16 pattern rifles. Originally introduced in the early 1980s, the CQ was intended for export sales and is chambered for 556 by 45 cartridges. Norinco manufactured two versions of the CQ, CQ-556, CQ-311, or CQ-M-311, select fire variant for military and law enforcement sales, and the CQM-311-1, a semi-automatic version for civilian use. Additionally, a carbine variant called the CQ-556 Type A was later introduced, and a semi-auto sport rifle achieved success in the civilian market. Despite its availability, the CQ never gained adoption within the Chinese military, nor was it unofficially given to Chinese troops. We can only assume it's because these rifles are built very poorly. Heck, even the 6,000 units China gave away to the Philippine military aren't being used by the military. They went to the cops who seldom use them, if at all. Number 3, Norinco NR08. Norinco NR08, a copy of the HK MP5 submachine gun, was manufactured by Norinco in 2010 exploiting the expiration of H&K's patents on these firearms. Norinco produced and exported them to the Philippines, selling at approximately $2,000 at the time, equivalent to around $2,800 today. Many consider this price tag to be exorbitant. Details about the H&K MP5 clone Norinco NR08 are limited, but there exists an upgraded China-exclusive version known as the CSLS-3, also produced by Norinco. Similar to the original MP5, the clone's chambered in 9mm and features a 30-round magazine. 
However, its durability and longevity fall significantly short of the original standard. With an estimated service life of only 8,000 rounds, it's a poorly made copy that sucks so bad, you can't even use it as a range gun. Number 2. Chinese SKS slash Narinco Type 56 SKS China's manufactured a diverse range of SKS rifles, making it challenging to cover all variants in a single video. If you want a comprehensive analysis of the various China-made SKS copies, let us know in the comments. Now, going back to the topic, these Chinese SKS rifles are pretty good. The most prevalent would be the Type 56 in its different forms. Jungle Stock, Paratrooper, Bladed Bayonet, Spiked Bayonet, and Laminated Egyptian Export. They share similarities in their receivers and build quality with slight modifications in barrel lengths, stock designs, or the types of bayonets attached. Among the most sought-after Chinese SKS variations are the M or D models, essentially Type 56 rifles with modified receivers and stocks. These versions can accept standard AK magazines, However, these models are no longer being imported, making any available ones rare and likely in mint condition, commanding prices of around $700 or more. Are they worth that price? I personally don't think so. Who knows how many rounds have been shot in them. But if you're in the business of selling used guns, there's a chance they might appreciate in value over time. Maybe you could sell them for double their original price in 10 years. Who knows? Number 1 AK-56 slash Narinko Type 56 Kalashnikov The AK-56, also known as the Narinko Type 56, was locally manufactured in China to make the Soviet AK-47 more accessible and cost-effective. While some slight alterations were made to suit Chinese preferences, Type 56 largely stayed true to its AK-47 origins, essentially making it a budget Chinese copy of the original. A distinctive feature of the Type 56 was the inclusion of a folding bayonet mounted underneath the barrel, providing a more compact size when stowed and unfolding into a combat position when required. Early production models had visible markers for single shot and full automatic fire modes, labeled D and L respectively. Design work began in 1947 and production commenced in 1956, continuing to the present day. Norinco, as usual, was responsible for manufacturing. It's estimated that around 10 to 15 million Type 56 Kalashnikov rifles have been produced to date. Like the original AK-47, the Type 56 is chambered for the 7.62x39 Soviet intermediate cartridge utilizing a 30-round detachable curved box magazine. Like all Norinco firearms, these are no longer being imported. Are they any good? Well, surprisingly, they are. Like the Chinese SKS, these Chinese Kalashnikovs are dependable, but again, they're not being imported anymore. If you're itching for a Kalashnikov rifle in 7.62x38, just get a PSA AK-47 GF3 with an underfolding stock for $699.99. It's highly reliable and PSA offers parts and accessories too, not to mention superior customer service. There are other Chinese copycat guns out there like the NDM-86 or Dragonokov copy. Unfortunately, we don't want to make this video too long. If you own any of these guns on this list, let us know in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe to help our channel grow. Thanks for watching.